Hi folks, it's George again and um, today I'm going to be um, putting a Raspberry Pi into a case and I'm going to attach this to um, a song card that the Raspberry Pi is loaded with um, MOOD um, double O-D-E MOOD um, software which is a, a player um, similar to like Volumio and it used an MPD backend to play music from a cell phone to the Raspberry Pi player. Um, so you need a case. So find something you could adapt. You need a volume control. You need an LED. Um, there's the LED. You need a power cord to power the Raspberry Pi. So you need a power cord here power the Raspberry Pi um, LED is simple you connect the LED to the GPIO pins so you look for a ground pin and an active pin so I'm using um, pin 5 and 6 yeah pin 5 and 6 so once you've got your um, mood software on the SD card which you can write to the SD card using the etcher so you use etcher to burn the moody software from mwode.org and that would burn the software to allow your Raspberry Pi to boot into moody um, you've got a password and a, and a username and that's all you do for the Raspberry Pi. Then you mount it into a case, use hot glue if it's a metal case. If it's plastic, then you can screw screws into the bottom and mount it that way. Now, I'm using a metal case for shielding, so, you know, that that's what I'm doing. And then you need to get yourself a little sound card. Um, this one's got Spidiff out. This one's got a 3.5 millimeter jack and it's got a coax out so I could disconnect the Raspberry Pi and use this to play music from a hi-fi or you know so play a station or whatever so that's a sound card these are could be obtained from eBay um, um, via China so you're looking about eight pounds for this sound card uh, the Raspberry Pi most people know how to obtain a Raspberry Pi from Pimeroni or Farnil or one of the companies that sell Raspberry Pis. Um, so right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in here like that. I'm going to put this in here like that. Um, to get all of it. I'm going to put that in. Difficult with one hand, <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be like that. I'm going to adapt a USB cable. I've got one, so if I keep my camera steady and come in. So what I've done is I've um, cut this micro this SD, uh, sorry, USB careful. So you need one that's for printer port that goes into this this part. So that matches this part. Um, I've got an angle, angle port for the uh, 3.5 jack so it comes in from the side so I don't have to worry. Um, and then I'm going to solder this cable together you have to use solder because if you use any other wrapping it'll come apart and you'll have to go into the system so once i've done all of that work i'll uh, come back and uh, connect this to some speakers and let you hear how it sounds and if everything works so that's all i've got to do now i prepared the software um Raspberry Pi has been you know sort of jammed into the case uh, using hot glue I've connected the volume control and the 
um, SD, um, SORD, pins to the GPIOs to get um, an LED to the front of the case. So here I'm able to see when the power is on and um, also when I shut the power down via the software um, the light goes off so I know that it's successfully shut down and I don't want to corrupt the SD card. Um, I've got some little screws here which I'm going to use to secure the sound card into the case. So remember metal case you have to use um, something to um, stop the circuit board from shorting out against the bottom of a metal case. It's okay if it's a plastic case so then you have no problems. But if it's a metal case then you have to be sure you don't earth the circuits out for the Raspberry Pi one and two for the sound card. The Raspberry Pi is sitting on some plastic standoffs so they are plastic standoffs. They come in here and there you can see one of the standoffs it comes in there and the other one is there, the one is there, one is there and that stops the Pi from touching the bottom of the metal case. So I'm going to do that, that's what it looks for from the front and um, I'm going to finish um, construct the soldering and I'll be back to, um, you know for the finished product in the next uh, part of the video so that's all from now so I'll see you soon George out Hi folks it's George again here's the player all set up so if you can see there's the LED for the Raspberry Pi um, the LED LED for the front of the system volume control there's the output from the sound card going out to the Raspberry Pi port um, USB port sound card um, plugged in um, T -T -R -T -R -S out um, coax out digital out and um, at the front of the unit with the volume knob um, volume now and um, so yeah so that's all set up ready to to output to some speakers which I'll uh, demonstrate using Moody once I've sorted that out um, but so far yeah everything's fine um, and that's that's where I can all get um objective multimeter and um yeah you're getting output from the speedy and uh coax so that's all for now folks okay goodbye hi folks so this is um the music box player what i've done is i connected it to a little amplifier and um yeah so now so it's connected by the USB cable and Ethernet cable. So that's the output from the flashing is the the Ethernet cable plugged into um, one of those um, electronic um, sort of senders. Um, you've got one Ethernet cable plugged into a socket and the other one connected to the rotor. And um, yeah, so so that's connected to music box. I was going to use um, Moody, uh, M O D. Um, however, Moody doesn't support um, some USB sound cards, so I had to scrap that and um, use Etcher. Uh, downloaded a copy of Pi Music Box. Use Etcher to burn it to SD card and. Um, yeah, inserted into the Raspberry Pi and booted it up. So there's the L LED to show Raspberry Pi um, is on and the amp is on. Um, just turn on the screen. 
one sec and over here is play music box so that's the interface so you change the radio stations you just like that and then you could go to any of the radio state local radio stations um there's the bpc world service boom capital so i'm going to play a capital extra reloaded so there we go so that's capital extra reloaded um i can't actually play too much because otherwise there'll be a copyright strike but that's what it looks like turn it off so yeah so that's how you um build um a small streamer with an amp um to get internet radio you could play about files from you you and you np um you could also insert a usb stick in the back of the raspberry pi um Here's the connections to the back of the amp and to the Pi and the cables running down to the plug-in um, to USB. Um, yeah, so that's finished and that's all for now. Um, tell my next project. Bye. George out. Bye.